Welcome to Swads on the Air, the art and soul show on Swindon 105.5. Today we have an interview with Julie Mackinson, the director of Swads, which stands for Supporting Wellbeing and Developing Stability. Also an interview with Barb and Pete from the Time For Us team. And Scott Cowley, the artist known as Rusty Goat, with some poetry, some set to music, made by James Osborne, recorded in the Sound Recovery Studio at Milton Road. And, as always, some fantastic music and local talent from Swindon. Julie, welcome to the Sound of Swads, the art and soul show, Swindon 105.5. Julie Mattinson is the director of Swads, Milton Road. The new Swads was launched in April this year. Swads meaning supporting, well-being and developing stability. Julie, can you tell us a bit about how the organisation evolved this year and the different therapies that are currently under the Swads umbrella at, at Milton Road? Yeah, of course. Um, well, we're currently we've got a wonderful music project. We've got right. music studio downstairs and we've got an art studio upstairs. Right. Um, these are both funded by the Big Lottery. Um, and so we took those as our foundation, if you like, yes. and decided we would build on that because there's so much here to offer. And primarily, we've always worked with clients in the addiction field, um, drugs and alcohol. Um, and we recognize, actually, along with that, normally it's dual diagnosis and mental health really yes. prevails in this. Yes. Um, and so we decided we would really start to expand this, coupled with the fact that we've also got a lot of experienced counsellors here um, because we are a BACP recognised organisation. Okay. Um, and that's the British Association of Counselling Psychotherapists, um, which we have been for many, many years. And so we wanted to really encompass what we've got here and do exactly that, actually yes. create a wellbeing centre. Um, which I believe there isn't actually a wellbeing centre that no, we've created in Swindon. No, no, and you've certainly got the facilities here, haven't you? I mean, you've yeah. got quite a lot of space in the building, quite a lot of uh, smaller rooms where sort of therapies can be grouped. Well, can we're work, really we? lucky because we've got two four story buildings, right. um, and obviously the art and the music takes up a small percentage of that. So we're, we also, what we've been doing is is renting out some of the rooms to different organisations so that they can come in and do different therapies here. Yeah. As long as it's therapy or orientated yeah. um, and it sits in the genre that we're now working in, then that's absolutely wonderful. And it means that we've got other things that we can offer people as well. So, yeah. you know, as well as the art and the music and the therapies, um, we do one-to-one -one counselling, couples, or we yeah. can do family work as well right. if needed to help families really all oh, right i didn't know about yeah. that so yeah we can as well. mm -hmm. and we won we won funding in july this year from the community wiltshire community foundation right um to develop a bereaved through addiction group right okay. um, which has just started um so there's some of the main things that we we've recently yeah. started um but however we do have we've run mindfulness courses relaxation courses yeah. um, we're looking to develop maybe a reiki course as well because right. myself and one of my colleagues are both reiki trained um, and that's something again that people have been shown an interest yeah. in wanting and although we you know we are a small team between the team and the volunteers we've got quite a diverse amount of skill between us that we're able to offer a range of therapies. Yeah, I think that's great. I mean, coming from myself, coming from uh, working within mental health services, there's certainly a lot of interest in the project here, generally, particularly um, myself are involved with in the, the music and the radio side and the music therapy groups. But it really is seen as a, a great resource, particularly with the, sort of, with the focus now on mental health as well. It's something that yeah. we can uh, really um, make, use, make use of, actually, and very grateful for coming from... Uh, sort of trying to uh, put together a radio show um, in other uh, venues, other facilities, yeah. having something like this with a well-equipped studio, um, equipment and people who know how to operate the equipment is is really helpful. Um, well, so I think this is this has been quite an exciting project to yeah. run. Now we've got our own Swaz radio station. Yeah. is just really exciting. It was, Again, it's just grown. It yeah. wasn't something that was on my... Um, radar at the beginning it just came to me when you know you and i met um yes. and it was just yes, yes let's do this that we can do this we've got the facilities 
it's something that is really important to a lot of of our service users and it would be a shame for it to disappear so Definitely. it just yeah. seemed the right thing to do yeah and i think certainly now with the um with linking up with um shirley 105.5 yeah. has been a, another step forward because we were myself we were sort of with, with the group and mike and richie found it a little bit frustrating in not actually having an outlet for some of these programs we've been making so the 105.5 opportunity um, for an hour a month, which actually takes quite a lot of preparation, is oh, it's a fabulous is, is really good. So oh, something gosh, already yeah. we're, we're feeling having having uh, deadlines and something to focus on has been great for everyone. So yeah, I think it, th that's a really really amazing opportunity that that yes. the radio station has been given. Yeah, um, and it, and it's great because it's given a voice to service users as well. And you know, it's great we can update people on what's going on here. Yes. But equally, yes. it's just a really nice resource yeah. that service yeah. users can access and have fun with. Yeah. And you mentioned arts, the arts side of things. At the uh, what's it called? The, the arts. new view art view. Art yes. Room. Yeah. So that's 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 been started from April. Is that right? As no, well? no, 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 no. The um, the um, art studio and the music studio we've had within Swad since. 2009 oh really I oh, didn't know that yeah yeah, yeah. Um, that yeah. started life um, it was the Octobus project it was called right. originally and mm -hmm. then it came into SWADS right. um, and it, as funding is very very difficult we'd applied yeah. for different in funding streams Henry Smith um, right. charity had been funding the project um, and then we applied to the big lottery and we're really lucky to get three years funding from the big lottery, which enabled it to grow. Yes, so it had always been yes. here. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was seen, go off, I go back now to 2012, it was always called Meaningful Activities. And yes. so when we worked predominantly with drugs and alcohol, all mm. of a sudden we had Meaningful Activities. So it meant that it was recognised that people trying to leave drugs and alcohol, you yeah. know, what do they do? Because yeah. that took up most yeah. of their time. So actually it was seen as a... It was a, an add-on, and it was something that people could actually get involved with if they want, if they wanted to. Yeah. However, you know, it. I think you know, if you if you spoke to Michael Lucille, who facilitate the music and the art, mm -hmm. they would agree that since we've now changed direction, you know, so many people are recognising the power of music and art. Absolutely, and yes. you know, you oh, might yeah. not want to talk about how you're feeling or what's going on in your head. No, but actually, you can get a piece of paper and draw yeah. and actually you don't need words you can just you can no. just put your feelings on paper and it yeah. can it's amazing what comes out yeah. and yeah. whilst lucille isn't a therapist yeah. what she does is, is therapy through art so actually it's such a nice calming space relaxed and i think that's the key to it really is within the whole project we try and give space and time yeah. to people meet them where they're at and allow them to think about what they want to do with no restrictions, really. We're yeah. able to say, okay, we can do this. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's, as you mentioned the arts, I mean, particularly also I've seen that with the music therapy, mm. with the sound well, with Bob yeah. uh, Bob and Pete there mm. leading that. It's um, something where um, everyone's very welcome, but it is a real opportunity to express things through music yeah. and without needing to be skilled. And they're really producing some... Uh, fantastic pieces now so it's um and it's people keep coming back and they want to be part of it yeah. so it's i think that's and i know from my own in. experience my own personal experience with Samwell, yeah. um i was invited down to a taster session um and i although i'm a psychotherapist yeah. i hadn't done any music therapy so i yeah. it was a really particularly busy day and i rushed downstairs that was late which wasn't great but i was late um came in sat down i was given a drum Yes. There's all sorts of instruments, yep. but I was given a drum. Um, and I thought, okay, I'll, I'll join in, that's fine. And after that hour that I was downstairs, I yeah. totally got it. Yes. I just was, yes. It was just so nice, so yeah. comfortable to be there. And I was completely calm when yeah. I, I came out of that room. I was completely different. Yeah. And I think the feedback I got from, we did a pilot over at Sandalwood Court. Yeah. Um, and Mike went over and did fortnightly sessions jamming mm -hmm. sessions yep. over there and we received a lovely email from yeah. the team saying that they'd seen a massive difference in their Fantastic. patients that had accessed this and they might come and go from the group yeah however for two or three days later they were really really calm and it really had had a positive effect yes. just from picking up an instrument yeah. 
yeah. joining in and leaving when they wanted to yeah. was having a really common influence. Yeah. It's something that it's, it's almost, when I sort of first saw it, it's almost quite surprising mm. because you, you mention it to people. I've had it with a number of people with that sort of thing. Is sort of, um, it doesn't sound very appealing at all. I mean, well, I'll come along and try it. But then yeah. the, the, what they experience is something quite different. I think, well, yeah, actually, this is you know, it's quite good. So, and it's you're right. It's the unknown for a lot of people. Yeah. It is the yeah. unknown. You think, well, I don't understand what I'm going to get from that. No, you can't see but it. But I would encourage yeah. anybody just yeah. just to try it once and and see yeah. see what it does for you because it's different for all people, but yeah. for everybody. But it's really really positive. Yeah, like all of these things. Um, you mentioned briefly about funding and the lottery funding. Yeah. So that's that's the main form of funding at the moment, is it? In yeah, currently it is. Sadly, we lost yeah. our um, our core funding um, right. due to government cuts, yeah. um, which is why we found ourselves mm-hmm. actually going to where our real strengths are in the psychosocial aspect. Yeah. Um, but like every small charity, you know, we we do need funds. And we do struggle. Yeah. Um, so yes, whilst we are supported by the big lottery, you know, that is literally for another 12 months. And okay. so we find ourselves, you know, we are looking yeah. for future funding. And I'm, I am really hoping that yeah. because of all the positive feedback that yeah. we've been receiving, mm. I don't think anybody that's visited us or we've done different projects no. for has had a negative thing to Not say. At all. No. Um, I think, you know, it would be really good if we could get some core funding actually from the borough just to, because, you know, we are quite cost effective. We don't cost a lot of money to actually run this project, but we're able to, what we can give is actually worth far more. Definitely, definitely. I think that's, that's almost, you see some of these things, it's just a matter of time really. It's it's Mm. a matter of people getting to know what, what is available here, what's going on, what the plans are. I mean, it sort of comes to plans for the future really then so yeah. are, there, are there plans for swads in the next sort of few months in terms of well developing new we, stuff? we we plan to carry on growing we yeah. are reaching out to many more people now uh, even schools are approaching us to do oh, really? stress busters yeah. yeah which i know um we have been out been out to a school mm-hmm. and done a stress buster session and that was again received yeah. really well again that was something i hadn't thought of yeah. i just hadn't thought of that area um and they want us to go back. So we find ourselves doing that. We work with um, many, many organizations now that that we didn't think we were going to. So yeah. for the plans for the future, we just want to keep on growing yes. um, with the mental health yeah. side of things because I think they all go in hand in hand. you know. And, and literally, it's not just if you've got a diagnosis mm. of a clinical depression or you can just be lonely. You yes. know, yep, but there's a lot of people yeah. out there that are lonely. They feel isolated, um, and that is one of our big plans for the future. Is we want to actually open a cafe in our basement, oh. um, and that is literally for anybody to come to. And mm. you know, we are now receiving phone calls from people saying, "Don't know if I'm ringing the right place, but I, I literally I haven't got a diagnosis. I, I'm just lonely. I'm isolated. Yeah, I don't know many people." Yeah. Yeah, can I come along? Yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah. And so we're, we're really hoping that we can get the basement cafe open and we're mm. going to try and do it maybe a morning a week and we'll afternoon. Say like a sort of drop-in evening. cafe of yes. some sort. Yeah. And so yeah. if we can generate enough interest and again, if we yeah. can get the funding for it, yeah. we are actually um, part of the Avi- Aviva community okay. um, mm. funding yeah. opportunity at the moment. Um, and that's one of the things that we've actually got on there is actually we would like, if we get some money, would be that we can develop a cafe that you can come along, yeah. get involved. Yes. You can just come along for a cup of tea. Um, and actually, you can get involved in so much that it's actually here in Milton Road. I suppose that would be an opportunity, wouldn't it, for people yeah. just to drop in and actually see what happens here because yeah. you wouldn't necessarily know. And I think it was good about you. You had the pop-up shop yes. the other week in the Brunel Centre, which I think... Probably attracted quite a lot of interest there, people seeing what... Well, that all evolved from me ringing them back in May and saying, could I have a a shop for a week? Thinking literally just to show some of the wonderful work that the clients do, both art and Mike jamming with some of our service users because they gave us quite a big shop in the end. Um, And they invited us to the Alice in Wonderland weekend that they did. It was promoting the film, said that we've got a shop unit. Would you like to come along? show some of your art it was really manic because we weren't foreseeing it was going to be four weeks later um 
but everybody worked really, really hard. And we had this pop-up shop for a weekend that was received really, really well. Yeah. And exactly like you said, that people, oh, Swad, you're still there. Yes. Oh, yes. okay. Yes. So yes. then we were, you know, I'd originally organized for a, a shop last week mm -hmm. um and so we actually we had one we've had two now uh, and great. both have been received really well and it does make yeah. you know people then get to know we're still yes. there yes yes yeah no i think that's great um well thanks very much for coming along it's um be good to have a chat with you and i'm sure we'll have uh, other meetings no it's but, a real pleasure um, and once again you know i'd like to say sort of how grateful we are for the use of the studio here and how it's given us a new lease of life with the the radio show. I think um, that's you know, really people nice are quite excited about that, and it gives us something now to really work with. So that's great. Thank yes, you very thank much for you. coming along. Thanks, Julie. Thank you. The Art and Soul Show Swads on the air. <laughs> that was Julie Mattinson, the director of Swads, and now some music that was made in the Sound Recovery Studio. This is Corey Newman, Hindu Mixdown. The Art and Soul Show Swads on the air. Urban Poetry by Scott Cowley, the artist known as Rusty Goat. The first one is called What Does My CD Collection Say About Me? Set to music by James Osborne. And I like it, but it's clunky. What does my CD collection say about me? Well, back in the day, it was all the rage. Crashed back at Viking Dan's static mobile home caravan. Half man, half biscuit, disc box opening up was not realistic. Wasted fingers and thumbs were Sony just sadist. All night it played, ears ringing, walked away. From then I was hooked, no backwards look. Twelve inch gatefold sleeve, never to return was me. So that's where it began, Viking Dan's static caravan. And so it went on, the years rocked away. Twelve inch vinyl disc disappeared. Alphabetically replaced. Crass, I say, crass on shiny disc waved angry fist no no yay yay it's the modern way crackle pop scratch hiss no more it's shiny disc stacked up piled high vinyl it's final bye bye ah but what is this to replace box born disc how big is your ipod downloading never i would and so the day dawned music collection internet born 
I know, I know, I said I never would download, but I did. Swapped 33 RPM shiny disc downloading hits. Car boot sales, CDs went, 12 inch vinyl settled weeks rent. But what's this I see, all crazies running phases. 33 RPM, 64 gig, music shop, portable music box, 7s, 12s, the lot. All things in moderation, pop and rock, multi-format musicalization. So the question should be, 12 inch, 64 gig, shiny box, round disc. What statement, multi-format, eclectic collection, what am I trying to say about me? The Arts and Soul Show, Squads on the Air. poem is Anti-Christmas by Mark Cripps with music from John Joe Higgins. Hey dear, put another burger on the barbie. Let's have some strawberries and cream. I love the summer. Nice sunny days and long balmy nights. But watch out, it's Christmas and New Year coming. Bah humbug, Christmas, a time of great cheer and occasion, yeah right, the shops are chocker, the buses and trains are gridlocked, the TV is showing the sound of music for the zillionth time, the number one record 
is Cliff Richard or Joe funny? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Christmas. Yeah, right. Our next guests are Bob and Pete from Time For Us, based at Swads. Welcome to the Sounds of Swads, the art and soul show on Swindon 105.5. Today we have Pete and Bob from Time For Us, a carer's organisation for those affected by or caring for someone with an addiction problem. So hi to Pete and hi to Bob. Hi. 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 Um, we need to talk about the group. I have one, one of your leaflets in front of me. Perhaps we can talk about the different aspects of your organisation, how it came about, why and when it started. Well, Time For Us has been going in its current format for around eight years. Prior mm. to that, it was uh, a group that met and the Carer Centre support group for people with an addiction. Myself and Julie Mattinson used to run workshops at Carer Centre once a, a month. And that okay. then became a weekly group called Time For Us, based in Milton Road. Right, so that was how things th- how things originated. Yeah. That's how things you know, first started, and we've gone from there, really, uh, now being part of SWAD's umbrella, and uh, you know, as well as being able to offer those support sessions every Monday evening, there's been big developments right. with Time For Us, which I'm sure Pete can tell you more about. Okay, I could speak. Well, uh, I was introduced to... Uh, time for us uh, I took my son to the uh, doctors because he was an alcoholic okay. and uh, they suggested that uh, we attended meetings at uh, at SWADS okay. uh, I came along with my wife uh, because our lives at that time were totally surrounded with my son right uh, we didn't go out together one of us stayed at home yes. to be with him and we were totally involved and it was bringing us down yes uh we came along to the meetings and it was it was great because we were with people that had got the same sort of problem that we had yes you had people to talk to exactly and you could unload from you know we got it all off our chest uh we we have been coming to swads now i suppose for three years I, i would imagine right um, and it was very difficult at that when we first came to let go. Eventually, we were able to do that, to just come away from it and, and yeah. let go, because we knew that we'd done everything we could do to help him, yes. and it was then down to him. Yes, so that the let go bit is, is important. E- exactly, yes, right. yes. And uh, what really helped us, we had a meeting with my son had uh, his... Um, uh, what is it called? Uh, support, worker. support worker. Right, yes. And uh, my wife and I came along and sat down with uh, Barbara mm-hmm. and we had this meeting mm-hmm. and we made some rules. Right. Uh, and Barbara very wisely said, don't make rules that you can't keep. Mm-hmm. You must be able to keep those rules. And we sat down and we made some rules and uh, Julian, my son, was brought in Mm -hmm. and uh, we discussed it Yes. and agreed certain rules Right. and put them down in writing. He signed them, we signed them. Really? Right. So it's it's an agreement. Exactly, yes. And we've stuck to that agreement right Mm -hmm. right the way through. And to be honest, it's changed my wife and my life. Fantastic. So how long ago was that? When did you... That would be... 12 months ago? Right, perhaps, perhaps right. Perhaps and things have been more. better for you since then. Absolutely. So you found We've got really our l- own lives back on track now. A great story, and yeah. It's, you know, it's all be because we came here. Yes. So I, yeah. I don't know where we would have been no, now no, if no, we hadn't no. come here. So did you meet once a week, is it? Once a week? Yes, you meet every, here? M- every Monday evening. Right, so it's in this building, in yes, the SWAT's building. Six until eight o'clock. Right. And there's people here. We've all got more or less the same problems. Okay. You know, yeah. and we discuss them, and right. it's great. Yeah. And uh, we get new people coming along, and we w- we're able to sort of help them yes. on their journey yes. as well. Yes, yes, So how many do you, how many come to the group? Or is it, I suppose it fluctuates. It fluctuates. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it yeah. could be 12. I mean, at one time, right. uh, the room was so full, we were sitting on tables yes. and, in, and on the floor. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah. yeah. Is, I suppose it's something you quite look forward to, is it? Something to come along it, it, to your yes, group? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, I yeah. mean, we, we now have got to the stage where, uh, uh, we, you know, we, we come along to, to see if we can help others. Yes, of course, yeah. That's, yeah. A, that's the stage that we're at. Yeah, which must be a good feeling, must be it, helpful to yourself and obviously helpful to others. Yeah. So yeah. I've seen these kind of work groups work before, and it's it's something that's useful to everyone because you see people at different stages, don't you? Exactly. Someone who's in turmoil and yeah. others that are, well, much yeah. further along the line yes. and have the advice and the experiences. Yeah. So yeah. I think yeah. that's, that's a, a great story to hear. So so one of the good things is that we do have a group of people that keep coming back that have had some yeah. ADFAM training to support Sorry, others. what sort of training was that? So that's support from um, some training from ADFAM. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's alcohol and drug families, okay. uh, yeah. which is a national organisation. Right. So they came, did some training with some of our peer volunteers, right. who now come in each week and will support others yes. in that situation. Yes. And the exciting new development for anybody that's not able to make it in on a Monday evening for that support, we're now out into some of the surgeries. Really? So, okay. So, so time for us are now at uh, Priory Road and Kingswood Surgery, and there are two more surgeries. We're just waiting. To right. hear from so in you the, have uh, meetings at these window. surgeries? Do you? We have They're two hour sessions at the surgeries where people can drop in okay. and talk about, um, you know, what support they can have for themselves right. around their loved one's addiction, yeah. because yeah. they can't uh, fix their loved one and what's going on for them, but they can look at what's happening in their own behaviour. And yeah. quite often, when you're really stuck in that situation where you've got somebody who's drinking or gambling or using drugs yeah. sometimes it's really hard to see what you can do to help make things better yeah so that's one of the things that we are able to support and help with yeah. through uh through that peer support through workshops and you know also all the other SWOD services that all time for us people are able to access yes. with the uh counseling the art and the music right so there are those aspects as well you mentioned um the the workshops what the workshops are for well there who? will be uh, some more workshops coming up in the new year right. and there will be workshops around enabling behavior and something called codependency okay yeah. um, which is really quite crucial to be aware of if yeah. you care for somebody with an addiction yes 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 no that's um, um in terms of um information for to access these services obviously there may be people listening in who would like to um, come along or have a chat um, how would how would they go about that what's the best way to get in contact with you well there is the telephone number which is uh, swindon 695405 or they're able to access through our website through the www.swads.org.uk right if they go to the contact us page they can send an email which will come directly to myself or judy mattinson Right. at Swords and we will reply very promptly yes to okay. get that support in place so other people could uh, take advantage of all of this service and get your get your support so yes so anybody in Swindon and the surrounding area uh, we yeah. don't just exclude at the Swindon boundary right. uh, so if there are people as far afield as for Chippenham for example that can't find any support in their area we're, they're able to come and access the services here. Right. So we're so not exclusively Swindon. So your doors are always open, really. So That's great. That's what we aim for. Yes, yes. No, that sounds great. Okay, I think um, I think we've we've looked at the contacts. Um, and Pete, so are you, are you a, would you be class yourself as a peer support worker or a peer mentor now in terms of obviously you've, you've been involved for a while? Um, well, I mean, uh, I have been to one of the surgeries. Right, uh, okay. Last, last Friday. Yes. Um, and uh, as I understand it, they're going to make appointments yes. in, the, in, the, in their uh, surgery. And uh, we hope to attend, I think it's December the 9th, we're going back again. Right. And hopefully there'll be some uh, some people there to, for us to see. Yeah. And obviously we can tell them about SWADS, yep. or time for us. Yes. And um, hopefully get them along on a Monday evening. That's the aim of it, really. Oh, because uh, and let's hope, and I'm sure they will benefit as much as I have. No, that's that's great. And it's great to hear it from someone who has experienced the process themselves and really yeah. benefited yeah. from that. So that's lovely. Okay, so we got the details there of how to get in touch. Thanks very much for dropping in to see us today. 
I know at very short notice, so appreciate that. Thank you, thank you Barbara, and thank you, Pete. Thank Thanks you. for coming along. That was Barb and Pete from Time For Us. This next track is a remake of While My Guitar Gently Weeps, sung and played by Laurel Penfold and Daniel Walton. Relax and enjoy. You just heard a cover of While My Guitar Gently Whips by Diane and Laurel. 
Coming up now is a track by Terror 45 called Overturned, recorded at the Sound Recovery Studio Swats. Enjoy. Soul Show, Swads on the Air.
You've just heard Need to Belong by James Osborne. And now, Slow and Steady wins the race by Pedro the Lion. One, two, three, four. All the way to was Pedro Valayan. This next track is a version of Amazing Grace sung by clients of Gloucester House in Highworth.
Hallelujah. That grace is amazing. Hallelujah, man. Can you feel the power of the room? Amen, oh, brother. I want to praise the Lord. Can you feel praise the power of the room? God's in the room. Amen. Amen. Let that song Amen. resonate Amen. in your brothers and sisters. I love you guys. It's a beautiful thing, Chabbers. You've been listening to the Art and Soul Show, The Sound of Swads, which broadcasts on the first Tuesday of every month between 9 and 10 a.m. on Swindon 105.5. The next show is on Tuesday the 3rd of January and will feature Bob Heath of Soundwell and all things Swads. Incoming, we've got some intergalactic flute jelly by Mike from Swindon Recovery Studios. This is House Beat 4 by Richie P, also from the Sound Recovery Studio, Swats, finishing up the show. Thank you all for listening, and we hope your spirits have been lifted. Take care for now.